Welcome to the shop. Hope you're having a great day. All right, time to try my first dagger. Are you ready? Here we go. Welcome back. All right, so you're about to see how I started with this design and also ended up with this design. Notice uh, resemblance? <laughs> yeah, man. Also, I spent a bunch of time hand sanding this. And uh, I still got, you know, brass to clean up here and little things, little details. But man, we got it nice and sanded and good to go. And yeah, she's looking real fine. But I decided to take a break and work on this dagger. And wait till you see the journey it's been. I also hand sanded up these handles and all that. I still got to clean this up and dip it and all that. But yeah, I got all this carbon fiber. I just did a big old hand sanding fest and uh, got it all taken care of. But uh, enough of that, let's just get into the video. So I'm gonna start this dagger. I kind of drew out a rough sketch and uh, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I know I wanna do a fuller in the middle. So I figured uh, I drew lines where I want the fuller to start, where the fuller to end, and the middle on both sides. I zero this out where we're at. I'm gonna go down 20 foul and then come across and see where we're at. Wish me luck. I got a ball and no I got a ball nosed end mill in there. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna stop it right where it's at and I'll bring it just a little bit and I'll remember that number. I'll zero it. No, I like it. I was trying to bring it up as I brought it over, but I think when I went back, yeah, I might have to do it like this. Trying to figure this out as I go. So there's zero. And we're gonna come over. Point four two nine. Let me write that down somewhere. Point four three. <laughs> Alright. Now as we go back, I'm gonna kind of pull down a little bit. I guess I'll have to sand the rest of it, but that's basically what I wanted. Yeah, I'm gonna have to sand that and sand that. That's basically what I wanted. <laughs> now see, I just marked here. Let me stop, I'm gonna mark there so I know that's where we're coming up. So there's our end. See, I figured once I get the fuller down, I can shake the rest as long as it's in the middle. 
I'd hate to shake the whole dagger and then be like, oh man, I messed it up with doing the fuller. <laughs> Well, I kind of messed that one up. <laughs> Guess I better flip it over and do it to the other one. <laughs> I was trying to bring it so it ended out there, but yeah. It sucks I went over, but sanding that will bring that. Yeah, see, I was trying to bring it out, but even that looks bad, so. I should just cut all that other stuff out and say I meant to do that, right? <laughs> oh man. No, yeah, but yeah, a little sand will take that little bit out, but uh We got it. So what I did is I went to Photoshop and I drew it out. This steel is like two and an eighth. So what I did on a piece of paper is I just drew half. So you know I cut it one and a sixteenth and made a box and I drew half. Then in Photoshop, I just flipped it over. So then I just cut out the two halves. I always print out two in case I mess up the first one. Here we go, this is what we're doing. The reason I did the one in the 16th is so I'd have a center line. You can see I lined the center line up. The fuller's right in the middle. Yeah, that's gonna be my dagger. So let's get to the bandsaw and cut it out. I guess I'm gonna cut this out. I'm gonna cut it out very loose. This isn't where I want it to be. So I'm gonna cut it way outside the line. It's just a, kind of have a reference to see how it looks. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go hit this on the small wheel attachment and then clean it up and you know just bring it down to the lines and get it all straightened up. That way we can see. I'm just gonna hit it here, get it straightened out. This side, I'm gonna have to dike them up and see how close these are because this looks like... <laughs> this just looks off. All right, we'll see. I gotta make sure I didn't mess this up. I got this line right here. It's still here. Let me try to straighten this up. So I just noticed something. Center for here is over here. But here. Yeah, this center line got messed up on the back. So here's my plan. I got this all. It can't go this way, it can't go that way. You're gonna lock this down. Now, what I wanna do. Oh, we are centered, good. Come up. I'll have to loosen. Let's see, which one? Here, this one. Is that the way I'm Yeah, okay. 
So I have to pivot this. Whew, where we're trying to go to. Nice. Wish me luck. So this side I got pretty clean, but I, man, I had this and I kept trying to fix it and I made it worse. So I'm just gonna take my Dremel and try to smooth that out just a little bit. We'll see. I'm gonna have to cut it over. You can you can tell this is the middle side because this side, man, it's just look how thin it gets here. But we tried. <laughs> the more I kept going, the more I messed it up. But uh, all right, it's dinner time. That was a complete fail. As you've been watching. I got another piece of steel, and well, I got it saved on my computer. But I got as many templates. This time, I know. I think I know what I did wrong. You can see here, it, it doesn't fit. And here, if you know, it fits. So what I think I did is I pulled from the edge and made center. So what I'm gonna do is pull from these ends, get center, bring center over to the middle, and then do the whole thing. So the center, is, it doesn't matter where this is on this, the center line will be exact. And then I'm gonna do just what I did here. But then I took this one that's messed up. Everyone's always bugging me to do a chef's knife. I'm gonna to put an S grind, put this on the uh, grinder and make these wider and then bring it down. My friend's like, you gotta do an S grind if you wanna cut tomatoes and stuff cause that helps release the stuff. But I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> make a big disaster into something. <laughs> Might even have a forward choil on it. We'll see. Well, that's about it. So I went ahead and I did a few more little mods on this. And you know, it's, it's, it's rough ground, so I'm gonna have to break stuff out and, and center it and make sure it's all centered and all that. But yeah, I'm real happy how this one came out. And next video, I'm gonna try my first S grind and everyone's always bugging me to do a chef knife. But look, I already put it on the surface grinder. Look how much thinner that is. Should be a really nice chef knife. Maybe I'll have to send it to someone to try it out for me. <laughs> Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. My website is up in the cards and the first link in the description. Instagram's down there too and also Amazon links. On my website, I got shirts like this, four or five knives, and all that good stuff. Hope y'all are having a great day and as always, take it easy.